On July 13, 2021, Linglong-1 started construction at the Changjiang Nuclear Power Plant in Hainan, China. This is the first multipurpose modular small reactor technology demonstration project in the world. The construction of this kind of onshore commercial modular small reactor, most countries in the world are still stop at paper design, but China has already implemented it in a down-to-earth manner. In short, Linglong-1 is not only a milestone in China's nuclear power industry, but also a leader in changing the world's nuclear energy pattern. So, what is Linglong-1? Do you know it? Why can it change the pattern of nuclear energy in the world? Okay, let's talk about them in today's video. In 1979, a major nuclear accident occurred at Three Mile Island in the United States. In 1986, an accident occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the former Soviet Union. In 2011, the Fukushima nuclear accident in Japan once again shocked the world. In history, every nuclear accident has cast a heavy shadow over the development of the global nuclear power industry. However, just 17 days after the haze of the Japanese nuclear power plant occurred, and when the development of nuclear power all over the world pressed the pause button, the China National Nuclear Corporation New Energy Company, Limited was successfully registered in Beijing. This company is committed to the industrialization of small reactors. According to the definition of the International Atomic Energy Structure, a nuclear reactor power plant with an electric power of less than 300 megawatts can be called a small nuclear reactor. Compared with large-scale reactors, small-scale reactors have smaller power scale, higher safety performance, more flexible site selection, and wider application fields. Small reactor can not only provide heat and power for cities, but are also suitable for islands and remote mountainous areas. But as a cutting-edge technology, its construction is also facing significant pressure. Just when the staff of China Nuclear New Energy was ready to go into battle with great enthusiasm and motivation, they encountered setbacks and almost aborted the project. The industry does have a very clear understanding of the huge advantages of small heaps, but this is only limited to insiders. For the general public and local governments who are still immersed in the horror of the Fukushima nuclear accident in Japan, they don't understand small reactors at all, and they just want to stay away from them. In order to let the public understand and accept small reactors, and support the development of small reactors, CNNC New Energy has to do a good job in publicity. Moreover, the research and development of ACP-100, a key model of small reactors, also took several years, and the researchers worked hard, and finally achieved major results. For ACP-100, China National Nuclear Corporation has invested a large number of scientific research and design personnel, nearly 700 million yuan in scientific research funding, and completed more than 400 utility model and patent applications. On April 28, 2017, China National Nuclear Corporation officially introduced the multifunctional modular small pressurized water reactor ACP-100, which was also named Linglong-1 by China National Nuclear Corporation. Linglong-1 has very strong competitiveness in terms of safety and economy. In terms of safety, nuclear reactors can not only withstand the hazards of earthquakes, but also withstand the malicious impact of large commercial aircraft. In response to the previous Fukushima nuclear accident, researchers also absorbed experience feedback and eliminated the weaknesses of the original power plant design. In this way, the probability of accidents is greatly reduced, the consequences of accidents are alleviated, and the safety of the public, the interests of investors, and the availability of power station assets are all guaranteed. The system and equipment of the first line of fast small reactor of the Linglong-1 model adopt an integrated layout. It places the once-through steam generator in the pressure vessel, and the main pump is placed on the main pump connection of the pressure vessel, which fundamentally eliminates one of the most important risks in the accident assumption of the traditional pressurized water reactor nuclear power plant. In order to greatly limit the expansion of the impact of nuclear accidents, 
Linglongwan has also set up multiple comprehensive accident prevention and mitigation measures. The main powerhouse of the nuclear island adopts a semi-buried layout scheme, and the reactor body is placed below the ground, which is more conducive to the power station's resistance to external natural disasters and man-made events. In order to take into account the economy, Linglong One adopts a modular design and completes the manufacturing in the factory, which not only makes it easier to control the product quality, but also shortens the on-site construction period and reduces the cost of the project. In addition to technical issues, site selection for Linglong One is also a very critical issue. After a series of demonstration and analysis, CNNC New Energy once again focused on Changjiang, Hainan. After more than two years of work, the site of the Linglong One demonstration project was finally implemented. The Linglong One project is planned to be completed and put into operation in 2026. The annual power generation capacity can reach 1 billion kilowatt hours, which can meet the electricity demand of more than 500,000 households in Hainan. In addition, as a new type of clean energy, the operation of Linglong One is expected to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide by 880,000 tons per year, which is equivalent to planting more than 7 million trees a year. Linglong One is completely independently developed by China National Nuclear Corporation. It is another major achievement of China National Nuclear Corporation's independent innovation after Huolong One. In 2016, Linglong One passed the IAEA General Reactor Safety Review which is the world's first advanced small reactor technology that passed the review. Linglong One is suitable for energy supply in various scenarios, which is an irreplaceable function for large nuclear power units. Therefore, Linglong One can not only serve as a supplement to the power load demand of industrial countries, but also meet the power demand of many developing countries whose power grids cannot bear large capacity units. In short, the construction of the Linglong One demonstration project has expanded the field and scope of nuclear energy applications in China and the world. Linglong One also actively responded to the Belt and Road Initiative to promote small modular reactors to the international market. At present, China National Nuclear Corporation has begun to actively expand the international small reactor market and has carried out small reactor cooperation negotiations with Pakistan. Iran, the United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, Brazil and other countries, and has started project negotiations with some countries. But Linglong One is just the beginning, and the nuclear power development goal of CNNC New Energy is far more than that. For them, Linglong One is just a part of the industrialization of CNNC's small reactors. In addition to Linglong One, they have already started two other important developments. One is to develop floating nuclear power plants for the energy supply of oceanic islands. This is of great significance for China to strengthen national defense construction and develop marine economy. The other is a pool-type low-temperature heating reactor, which is mainly aimed at the heating and heating of cities in northern China in winter. The implementation of this project will play an important role in eliminating smog and protecting the blue sky in China. The current big countries in the nuclear field are all developing in a higher-end direction. If they want to lead the development of nuclear technology in the world, they must strengthen China's basic research capabilities and original innovation level. The construction of the Linglong One demonstration project is enough to prove that China has sufficient strength to carry out innovation and research. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.